our swords out the mind. Brothers and sisters, let's get into the gospel according to John. Let's get into the gospels according to John. In chapter 1, verse 29. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John, so this is the next day after John the Baptist was being questioned by the priests and Levites, right, from Jerusalem, asking John the Baptist, who, who is he, okay? So this is the next day after that. When John the Baptist says, no, I am not Elijah. I am not the Christ. Okay. He said, I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of our Savior. That's who John the Baptist is, okay? So, this is the day after that, right? Okay, so, chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw, that's John the Baptist, saw our Savior coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High, who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said after I me comes a man who is preferred before me for he was before me okay. I did not know him but that he should be revealed to Israel therefore I came baptizing with water Remember, our Savior was in the beginning. Right? He was in the beginning. He was in the beginning with the Most High. Okay? So he was before John. Okay? So he was symbolically supposed to be preferred before John. Okay. Now, let's uh let's go to verse 31. Let's let's start back at verse 31. I did not know him. So John the Baptist didn't know our Savior. But that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore, I came baptizing with water. Okay. So at this time, John the Baptist did not know our Savior. But he knew his mission. And that was make straight the way of our Savior. Okay. Verse 32, and John bore witness saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and he remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me upon whom you see the spirit descending and remaining on him. This is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. So. What is John the Baptist talking about this? He's talking about, if you go to, in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 16. In the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 16. And he had been baptized. He is our Savior. Our Savior came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the Spirit of the Most High, descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom 
I am well pleased. So brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. As we see in Matthew chapter 3 verse 16. As John baptized our Savior. We go to first John, I mean, excuse me, the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 32. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. Okay? And remained upon him. Verse 33, I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, upon whom you see the spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the son of the most high. Again, the next day, John stood with two of his disciples and looking at our savior as he walked, he said, behold, the lamb of the most high. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed our Savior. Then our Savior turned, and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated, teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. Now it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated our Savior. And he brought him to our Savior. Now when our Savior looked at him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which is translated a stone. The, the following day, our Savior wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, our Savior of Nazareth, the son of Jews, Joseph. Then Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. So brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, Nathaniel said to him, which is Philip, can anything good come out of Nazareth? So, the perception of Nazareth from an Israelite that was not corrupt said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. Our Savior saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, behold, an Israelite indeed in whom is no deceit. So Nathanael is, is comprehending, right? the corruption in Nazareth. Okay? And 
our Savior says to an Israelite, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. So, our Savior speaking is, 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 is corresponding with Nathaniel. Because pretty much Israel is full of deceit. Because our Savior saying, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. So our Savior like, Wow! Man, you know how it is right now in the world, brothers and sisters, to find children of the most high, right, in the world, you hear me? So when you find a child of the most high, you're going to be like, wow. Because it was a lot of, is it, you know, there's a lot of children of God. But they ain't children of the most high. You can't remember what I'm saying. So, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, there is a lot of followers of deception. That is what the world feeds. Deception. So brothers and sisters. You know, um, we must comprehend. We must comprehend. That. Deception. Lies in the appearance of things. So, we must comprehend that we must not rely on the appearance of things, but of faith, faith of the Spirit, that righteous Spirit of the Most High. Verse 48, Nathaniel said to him, how do you know me? Our Savior answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the son of the Most High. You are the king of Israel. Our Savior answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. So, Nathaniel, Nathan, once our Savior said, before Philip called you, because remember Philip called Nathaniel, like, come see. Right? Because that's who Nathaniel was talking to, Philip. When he said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And, and Nathaniel is also known as Bartholomew. Okay? Nathaniel is also known as Bartholomew. So, Nathaniel, like, man, I was just sitting over there with Philip. Right. I was just sitting over there with Philip. So our Savior called like, wasn't you just sitting over there with Philip? And I sent you. So Philip, man, I mean, so Nathaniel's just, man. You know, I believe, I believe. Rabbi, you are the son of the most high. Once again, Rabbi, you are the son of the Most High. You are the king of Israel. Let me just, uh, let me 
So since I'm, um, we're just going to read back verse 50. Our Savior answered and said to him, because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? Huh? You will see greater things than these. And he said that to him, most assuredly, I say to you, hereafter, you shall see heaven open and the angels of the most high ascending and descending upon the son of man. So brothers and sisters, it's a lot of deceit. Do not be deceived. Just eat the words of our savior. That's what we consume. This, this fruit of our Savior. Let's go. Um, let's, stay in, let's stay in the Gospel of John. Let's stay in the Gospel of John. And uh, we're going to go to John chapter 21. John chapter 21. Verse nineteen. We we we, we actually we're gonna start at uh, ver, verse eighteen. Okay. John. Gospel of John. Chapter twenty one. Verse eighteen. And just a little above 18, our Savior said to Peter, feed my sheep. Most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walked where you wished. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish. This he spoke. Signifying. By what death. He would glorify the most high. And when he had spoken this. He said to him. Follow me. Then Peter turning around saw the disciple whom our savior loved following who also had leaned on his breast at the supper and said, our savior, who is the one who betrays you? Peter seeing him said to our savior, but our savior, what about this man? Our savior said to him, if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? You follow me. So, our Savior's telling, is telling us to just follow Him. To just follow Him. He will take care of those who betray right he will handle those who betray we serve the most high vengeance is his my brothers and sisters so we must not lean on our, under, our own understanding which will lead us astray, which will blind us from seeing the truth because we will see our truth instead of the most high's truth. Our truth is what pleases the flesh. That is what we do not do. We do not consider our way but the most high's way my brothers and sisters so we will not be led astray our 
our Savior said to, to, uh, to Peter. You know, our Savior loved Peter. You know, I was his beloved, right? Our Savior said to him, if I will, if I will that he remaineth till I come, what is that to you? So, brothers and sisters, once again, we cannot get off task. We, 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 we must not be concerned about others to the point that it is going against the will of the Most High. We are concerned with our neighbor as if we, do, we, we treat our neighbor as we treat ourselves. Right? So, brothers and sisters, we must show the glory of the Most High, be a light to everyone. Follow Him. Verse 23. Then this saying went out among the brethren that this disciple would not die, yet our Savior did not say to him that he would not die. But if I will that he remain till I come, that is, what is that to you? Excuse me. Our Savior said, if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? So, brothers and sisters, as we see, then this saying went out among the brethren that this disciple would not die. Then this saying went out among the brethren that this disciple would not die. Yet our Savior did not say to him that he would not die. Are we comprehending? But if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? So brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, we must examine ourselves, right? Follow our Savior. Follow our Savior. That's it. That's all the, that's all the room. That's, that's the only focus that we have is following our Savior. Because our Savior did not say to him that he would not die. But then this saying went out among the brethren that this disciple would not die. 